one killed, three hurt in Franklin Park shooting in North Spokane. This was published August 27th, 2022. Spokane, Washington. One person is dead and three others suffered gunshot wounds in an early morning shooting in Spokane's Franklin Park. Rest in peace to this person that lost his life. Abolish the Second Amendment. Multiple people called 911 around 3.15 Saturday morning, reporting a shooting in the parking lot at the south end of the park. For anybody who's from Washington or from Spokane specifically, if this is a bad neighborhood, if this is the hood, if this is a place where... Uh, you know, violence is known or expected, it's not acceptable because across the United States, violence is known and is tolerated at the very least because we allow too many guns to permeate and allow too many people to be injured and hurt every year. It does not matter where somebody is born, where somebody lives, how much money they make, what race they are, what ethnicity they are. Every American deserves to live in a society where if people are going to have disputes or if people have problems with each other, they don't have to resort to deadly violence. I know that's ideal. Because in other countries, yes, people commit murder. They commit knife crime. They kill each other with their bare hands. But in the United States, we allow too many guns to permeate where if people are having disputes or, or if they want to commit a crime or if they want to hurt somebody, they have easy access to weapons that allows them to do it. Some people will say Washington has very strict gun laws. They'll use the state exceptionalism argument that in my state or in my city, Guns are very hard to get, but in the United States, we have interstate travel that is very easy. So I could easily travel from Washington to Montana to bring back the gun that I want to shoot up the school or shoot up the church or shoot up that guy in the neighborhood that I don't like or kill my wife or kill my dad or kill my uh, brother or sister, whatever. Too many Americans have access. It does not matter about the state, the city, the region. You can find a gun in the United States, and that's the problem. And if some people are going to say, well, these were thugs or criminals or drug dealers, all drugs should be legal, by the way. That's my opinion. All drugs should be legal so we could mitigate the level of violence related to the drug trade. But I'll also say this right here. It does not matter if somebody is a is a is what you deem a thug or a criminal because thugs and criminals exist in Canada, in France, in Germany, in Italy, in Russia, in all the other countries that America is supposed to be better than or the same at least when we look at uh, standard of living and that sort of thing. In those countries they have criminals, but do we hear about mass shootings happening in their countries? No. But in the United States this is acceptable. I'll continue reading. When officers arrived, they found several people with gunshot wounds and one person dead. So we got a call around 3.15 a.m. Terry, Pre Terry Preuninger, Preuninger, lieutenant for the Spokane Police Department, said there were multiple 911 calls. Some just had been screaming. Some were reporting that someone had been shot. When officers arrived, they found a pretty chaotic scene. All three of the people injured were taken to the hospital. One suffered not... One suffered life-threatening gunshot wounds to the head. This person could later succumb to their injuries and die. I hope that does not happen, but I'm just saying, every time we hear about these mass shootings and we just hear about, you know, there's non-life-threatening injuries or all are expected to recover, that's sometimes false. People can succumb to their injuries later. People can be permanently paralyzed. They could need permanent physiological or psychological help for the rest of their life. Every time somebody is shot, it's a traumatic event, and we can make this stop by becoming, just like every other nation in the around the world, particularly in Europe, because Americans love to associate uh, or compare ourselves to Europe, saying that we're better than Europe, but in Europe, they don't have this problem. They don't have this problem in Sweden. They don't have this problem in Germany. They don't have this problem in Italy or Spain or Portugal or the UK of mass shootings happening regularly. This is the 514th mass shooting in 2022 alone, meaning that there were more than two per day in the United States of America, the richest, freest, most safest nation in the world, the most liberated country in the world, the most liberalized, the most democratic country in the world allowed 514 mass shootings in 2022 alone. And it's possible we will reach over a thousand this year but it can stop if americans change their minds if individuals put down the guns if we stop worshiping the second amendment if we change the gun culture and the mind and stop falling victim to the lobbyists and the gun manufacturers who continue to push this propaganda through their through their propaganda on the nra and the right-wing reactionary politicians and all the myths we tell ourselves about the founding fathers and all this other bullshit, if we let all of that go, we can save American lives. I don't give a fuck what people think about me. I am just trying 
to advocate for people putting the guns down and saving American lives because this is an embarrassment as I travel the world and I'm making this video in Mauritius, Africa right now. I do not have to worry about a mass shooting at a party or a mass shooting at 3 a.m. after I'm leaving the club. But in America, they do. And that's a shame. So uh, we were told that two other people were dropped off at a local hospital, not transported by the police or by fire personnel. Paraninger said they had also been shot at that same incident. Police were still on the scene after the sun came up on Saturday morning. Queen Avenue was closed from Division to Kalispell Street. Officers say some sort of dispute escalated to the shooting, but they have no suspects in custody right now. There was some form of disturbance, some form of conflict that devolved into the shooting, Paraninger said. If you have any information about what called what happened, call Crime Check at this number. This is the second shooting with multiple victims in Spokane in just the last few days. Thursday, three teens. Three teens and an adult were shot in an early morning shooting in Dutch Jake's Park. Isn't this a shame? Teenagers, young people, adults can get shot up in America over petty, stupid bullshit. And Americans still think the gun is God. Yes, the gun is your God. May it lead you to hell. May it lead you to hell. My name is Simon Hill. Thank you for watching.